So here we're going to be explaining issues with connecting iView to your eye control. I'm going to open up the iView NAT. I'm going to go to File, Connection, Open. In this case we're working with the DC control. Right here we have an error connecting exception summary. Error connecting to period. Uh, you might have this error. You might have an error that says connecting to uh, a summary of instance of an object. But here's a couple things to look at. So first thing is you're going to want to even see if there's an IP address configured for that file. You're going to go to file, connection, edit. IDC, there's not an IP address that the IV is trying to connect to. So to figure out the IP address for the IV connections, is you're gonna go over to your iBox, you're gonna press one on the home menu, you're gonna go into the network setup, you're gonna go down to IP address one IP address 1 is equal 1 for LAN and that's how you connect iView for connections is, is through the LAN network on iControl. So you're going to go into IP address 1. As you can tell there's an IP address here 192.168.191.002 anything to do with a PC is you always want to leave out the leading zeros so you want to type in 192 period 168 period 191 period 2 press OK okay now it's actually trying to connect to that correct IP address next step is to in your Windows PC is to search for command prompt that's this app right here you might have to type it in to get that to pop up but you're gonna open it on here you're gonna type in P I N G space 192 period 168 period 191 period remember that you leave out the leading zeros on a computer you type in 2 press enter so we got an error there I do this again ping 192 168 191 period 2 so we got fa failures there. Sent for, received for, lost for, 100% lost. So we tried sending signals to the iBox, but it, it wasn't talking back to us. So after this, what you want to check is your IP address of your actual PC itself. So you're going to go here, type in search, type in control and you're gonna get that control panel uh, you might guys might have a different Windows operating system so it might be located somewhere different but you're gonna go into network and internet networking sharing center you're gonna click on change adapter settings you're gonna right click LAN make sure LAN is capitalized too if not then double click on it and change it. So I've, I've seen many times before where it will be a lowercase a n and that will prevent you from connecting to an iBox too. So you're going to right click it, hit properties, go down to internet protocol version 4, hit properties. You want to get your prints out. It's page IP of your group prints for your iCentral. You want to make sure that that IP address 
is the LAN network for the PC. So in this case, we do have it correct. 192.168.191.201. It's its own IP address for LAN. So once that's checked, and if it's wrong, then you know type in the correct IP address uh, for it according to your prints. Next thing to check is is there any communication lights for the for the LAN? You see any blinking lights? Not in this case. Next thing to check is your the switch would be located at the bottom of your group dispatcher cabinet. So you want to check if it's powered on the LAN network. So in this case it is. So if we're not able to ping to it, we're not able to connect to it, and we verified it's not able to connect to another car as well, your other controller, it could be a bad switch itself. Or it can be the cable that's going from the PC to the switch. One good way of troubleshooting is just from the back of the PC, the LAN P uh, port, connect it straight to equals one of your iBox and see if it's able to connect. If it's not, could be a bad network interface card adapter for the LAN on your PC. In this case, I had my blue cable unplugged. So we're gonna plug that in. Now we see communicating lights. Communicating lights. Now we have lights blinking on the LAN. Let's go ahead and try to connect back to, to it. Shortcut. IDC. And there you are, you're open. So if you verified your IP addresses, you're able to ping uh, to it. If you're still having issues connecting or you're getting an exception summary loss, one good thing to check is if you go to, set this as an example, is you're gonna go to help, about iView, and it's gonna give you the version of the iView software. You're gonna to need to take that version down and also the version of your iBox IP application. To get there, you go back to home. You go down to version info. You're gonna to need to get the IMP, the very first one and you're gonna record that, and you could uh, contact um, MCE technical support to see if those versions are compatible with each other. So once you get all that going, you should be able to connect. Another thing to check is to make sure your Windows Defender firewall is off too. So you're gonna search for it. Windows is Defender Firewall. Make sure they're off. Hopefully this video helped you guys out.